Okay, today is a very big day. Let me show you. I have been waiting for quite a while for this to arrive. First, let me open up my garage. Is it in here? <gasps> there it is. Grind it up. Ba 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 bum. I have been waiting for a very long time for this to be able to purchase it. Hello, Nate. That's Nate. He was here to get the package. What is it? It is my wide body. Okay, I've been waiting a very long time for this, so let's see it. Here's the box. A little beat up, but it came all the way from Europe, so understandable. Let's get this thing open. shipped it just like that no like bubble wrap or anything so that's kind of a bummer but otherwise these seem to be in pretty good shape I don't see any uh, cracks on this first piece this could use a little bit of sanding, but that's okay. I was told these are very flexible for being fiberglass, which is good. But yeah, there's the first one. Okay. Second one. Let's see. They even included a couple stickers, that's kind of cool. So this one also looks to be pretty good. Maybe a slight little ding there. But otherwise, pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Nice, very nice. Awesome. Carpet, nice. Okay, here's the big boys. These are the big guys. So these are full rear fender overs. Pretty nice quality. These are definitely the arches and this is really, really thick. Um, this back here is a little flimsy, so I'll just have to be very, very careful when I'm um, drilling them on. But otherwise, pretty nice, pretty nice. You can tell there is, I will say, in the bottom of the, well, here, let me bring it up and show you guys pretty close. It's probably not in focus, but, so this is them. They're pretty nice. They are very, very fat, which is awesome. But you can tell on the, all the corners, they did wrap a little. But what I'm assuming is when they went through customs, they opened up the box and had to check what they were. Because at the bottom, there's a bunch of the corner pieces just lying around. So I'm assuming that's what those are. So I'm trying to 
figure out the best way to set it down, because I don't want to set it down. Um, it's going to be too flimsy. So there's that one. And then here is the last one. The only thing that I will have to cut is the gas cap, but other than that, it should be pretty nice. So I'm currently at my parents' house because I don't like getting stuff shipped to my house. Um, so I'm pretty much going to load this back up, go back to work, and then the next time you'll see me, I will be... Whoa, it just got really bright. Hold on. Next time you see me, I will be in my own garage with these mounted up on the car. So, I will see you guys then. Okay, so we're back in my house now and got all the panels out. So, now I'm just going to start test fitting them. Um, so, I already took off the old panel as these ones for the fronts are just direct bolt-on. Um, they leave like, you can see the markings still for where you're supposed to drill them out. But yeah, basically they're direct bolt-ons, which is nice. Um, but then the rear is a lock shift to cut out, so that I will do later on. Just fit, oops, missing one. You should Mocked up this one, drilled the holes in the top on the fender, and then I took my trusty washer spacer thingy, taped it on, pushed the fender up against it, drilled the pilot hole for this, and then stepped it up each time till I got the right size for this, my rib nut. And then you take your fancy rib nut tool, you take this, you thread it on like that. You then stick it into the hole, which, whoops, I guess that's not big enough yet. Right, stick it in, there you go, you stick it in, and you squeeze it all the way down until it's on there tight. And there we go, and then you unscrew it from the back like this. Now, I'll take it all the way off. There you go, it's out. Then I can take my fender again, fender, place it up on here, put the screws back in. That's like this, flimsy flimsy. Then I'll take, wherever I set them down, my quarter 20 stainless steel screws. I'll then take a big handful of these washers right here. I'll then put this through, which whoops, looks like I need to drill it out a little more. Put it through here, just like so. Take a bunch of these. Not entirely sure how many I'll need, so we'll just guess for right now. And we'll take this. And 
then I'll grab my Allen. I'll grab my Allen. Tighten it down, just like that. And I think that might be one too many. So I'll take one out, not two. One out. Just like that. And then, I already have this on the back side, and this one, since the hole for the little tab that I'm using still is big, I'm pretty much just guesstimating on where it should go. So, that's kind of just how I'm doing it. Obviously, there's a much more mathematical way to do it, but I am not doing that, so. There looks pretty good to me. size that I need, and I'll drill that out. Oops. Try and start the blade moving, or the bit moving, before you go to pump through it. So you don't really chip it away too much like I just did. And then I'll grab another quarter 20, this one, along with a nut, which I have right here. And then, since I ran out of washers, I'll undo my washer spacer since I don't need it anymore. Okay, so there is the front. It is all done. I definitely am gonna need to work on the fitment. I need to go out about three quarters of an inch. But otherwise, after that, it should be pretty good. So, very excited. And I think I'll be able to lower the front quite a bit, which is nice, because I didn't really like how high up it was in the past. So I'll be able to go lower, which will be really cool. So it's starting to get dark, and the rear I just taped on, but I thought I'd do a quick little view of what it will look like roughly when it's done. I'm now going to, tonight, wrap the two fronts real quick, because that won't take very long. But so that's the rear. I'm about three inches too far in, so it's about to come wider. But yeah, overall, they're good quality, they look nice, um, and yeah. First fender almost off.
All right, so the last time you guys saw the car, I was about to wrap the rear over fender. Um, since then, it's uh, been a couple days, and the car's all done. So I figured I would take it up to a parking garage, take some pictures of it, and do a little walk around showing the car. Um, I know this has been a longer video, but oh well. Uh, but yeah, so without further ado, here is the new E46. There she is, in all her glory. Let's see if I can get out of the suns. There you go. Hopefully you can now see the wide body. Let me get the other side. Front, definitely a lot wider. So for the moment, I'm just gonna run big spacers um, until I can buy some three-piece wheels so that'll be the next big purchase um, but I already did some donuts and little drifts and stuff in it um, and they hold up just fine I know a lot of people say like oh you shouldn't drift on spacers because you know it's super sketchy which I'm not saying it's not a little sketchy but I mean these are I have extended lugs because it has the conversion from the you know the stud to the, or from the lug bolt to a stud, and everything I've read online, these are like the strongest ones you can buy. I've got bolt-on spacers on top of those, and yeah, so that at least fills it in for now. Um, but yeah, so overall, I think they look really nice. Um, they fit really good to the car, which is good. Um, but yeah, so, that's pretty much it for this video, um, hopefully it wasn't too jumping around back and forth, but I'll probably input some of the photos that I just took here at the end, but otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video.